right, so let's inspect this crawl space. I'll show you what we look for. So first thing I noticed is the company came through here and encapsulated this already. Uh, a couple things already. They attached it to the sill plate, which is a wooden board um, that holds up the foundation. And then, so what we gotta go do is remove that plastic from the wood and drop it down to the concrete so we don't have any extra moisture rotting that wood out down the road. Here's a sump basin here. I'm gonna open this up. Make sure the sump pump actually works. See if they need a new one. All I gotta do is get in here, lift this, and it doesn't work. So next thing I'm gonna do is see if this GFI is popped, and it is. So now we go back in here. This should kick on. There it goes. So we can say that this sump pump works. So what this is, is this is just a fan pulling out humidity and air from underneath this plastic. And it does not look like it works. So that's something that we're gonna have to discuss and potentially replace. So a lot of these units that we're checking have these box vents sealed, which is a good thing to do, but only when you're controlling the humidity down here. So there's no dehumidification system, so we're gonna put a full home dehumidifier in these units um, to control the humidity and air in here to prevent mold growth. Another thing that we do is we go up, we pull back this insulation and we look at the box seals. We see if there's any rot going on, water issues going on, or even any mold. This one looks okay, so I'm just gonna stick this back in here. Another thing that we look for in crawl spaces is something like this. So if you look close, you can see right out through that foundation wall outside. So we are gonna go through here and actually seal all that so we don't get any critters and bugs and stuff coming through here. All right, as we go this way, we're gonna go look at the mechanicals. We're gonna make sure all this ductwork is connected and attached and there's no opening holes inside here allowing um, the crawl space air to enter or exit because we don't wanna blow conditioned air into a crawl space. You notice right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is just water. So whenever you have a humid crawl space uh, in cold air, a hot humid crawl space and cold air running through your ductwork, like in the summertime, it will hit that, warm air will hit this cold pipe and condensate and then you get all this dropping. By adding a dehumidifier, we're gonna take care of this and it won't drip anymore and cause extra humidity in this crawl space. We come underneath here real quick. furnace here this is where this is a condensate line this is where water builds up and when it builds up to a certain height it'll go down this pipe and then into your plumbing here the root problem with this is this plumbing is, is, is higher up so obviously it's it's not flowing properly so I'm gonna recommend adding a condensate pump which when that fills up electricity will kick it on and run it to our drain over here so we can get that pumped out Since we checked out our plumbing, our mechanicals, we're also gonna look for any type of leaks inside uh, water lines. Uh, everything looks good. I don't see any standing water on the floor. Um, so I'm gonna say that it's okay when it comes to plumbing leaks and everything like that. So now since we've gone over uh, humidity and mold, we've talked about the box sills, we've talked about insulation in them, we've went over the mechanicals, we've talked about the plastic encapsulation here. Uh, pretty much the last thing that we'll just really look for um, there's any other debris, everything looks pretty clean down here, so we don't got to take care of it. So this is actually somewhat of a healthy crawl space, just need to add a couple things to it to make it a healthy home.